Hey guys, welcome back again. Many of you have asked me about a WordPress table of content, a plugin, a plugin with the help of which you can create a very interactive jump link inside your WordPress blog. Or in other words, I should say how exactly you can create a table of content inside your WordPress blog. So this is going to be a quick video that I'm going to introduce a very free plugin which you can install in just two minutes and can do the setup in next one minute and your complete blog post will be having a very attractive jump link or I should say a table of content. So guys, if you're new to this channel and looking for such kind of a blogging, passive income and affiliate marketing tips, then make sure you subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and provide your valuable comment because based on this, I love to create more and more videos. So here we are on the screen. First of all, guys, what I will do is let's go to any of the posts on this particular site, mrviasidea.com. Let's imagine I have opened this particular post in a new window. And if you will scroll down, guys, there you will see table of content. And there is a toggle switch. If you will click to this one, it will automatically display a table of content. If I click to this particular option, it will jump you to that particular section of my website. So the question is, am I entered this manually? Then the answer is no. I have used here a free WordPress plugin to insert a table of content and the table of content. In other words, we can also say them as a jump link, which also work as a keyword when the Google crawler or someone will visit your website. But the ideal recommendation is always use a table of contain if the word length of your blog is more than 600 or 700 word. If it is lesser than that, then I don't think this is much needed, right? Because here we are helping user to go to a specific section of a blog if the content is very much longer and not able to scroll down in just few seconds. Now, guys, let me introduce you the name of the plugin which we will be using is an easy table of content. Yes, guys, this is a free plugin and I will tell you how to install that and how to do a setup in that. For that, what you have to do is guys, you have to go to your WordPress backend, go to the plugin section and come to the add new. There you have to search easy table of content. As you will type easy table of content, guys, this is the plugin which you have to install. At present, you can see the plugin is having more than 4.5 star as in review or as in star. The second one is it has more than 200,000 plus active installation as of now. That means this many are the blocks which are currently using this plugin. What you have to do is initially guys, you will be having an install now option because this is already installed. That's why it is grayed out, but you will be having an install now. Simply click to the install now. Then after you will be having an option for active. Now you have to press an active button. As you press the active button, that means the plugin has been installed with your website. Now the next part is we have to do a little bit setting inside the plugin. For that, what you have to do is guys, you have to go to here setting section and there will be all the plugins which you have installed. And there one of the plugin is table of content. As you will click table of content, you will be onto the screen. And this is the screen where we are going to do this setup with the plugin. First of all, guys, you have to find out where exactly you wanted to insert this table. And the ideal recommendation is always should have a paragraph at the beginning of your blog. Then after when you will be having your first heading, I should say H2 tag, you have to set up your table just before that. Because till the time if user is interested in learning any of this particular point, then he can directly jump into that. So what we will do is let's come here. First section is where exactly you wanted to support this plugin. Well, you can be having a pages, you can be having a post or you are using certain page builders such as Thrive Architect, Elementor kind of that. But in our case, we are going to use this plugin specially only for the post. We wanted to insert the table for a post. So whatever and wherever you want it, just mark it from this checkbox as check. Here I checked as a post. Then after guys, the second option is whether you wanted to auto insert that particular table everywhere. If yes, then automatically on your complete website, this table will be auto inserted. You don't have to go manually. It will auto insert if you have provided this section as a post. But for a certain or a particular post, if you don't want it to enable or insert this table automatically, then I will tell you how can you disable little bit later. But now if you wanted to insert everywhere on your website, install the plugin, activate it, click to post and simply click to post here. Now your complete website post will be having this plugin, right? Or the table of content. Now the second action is where exactly you wanted to position. As I said, guys, I wanted to position it just before the first heading of my website. 
But if you want it somewhere else, like after first heading or at the top of the page, at the bottom of the page, you can choose whatever you want. But the default option is first heading, which is even I will recommend you. The next option is guys show when. This is something which you can decide if you have more than four or five heading, then only you wanted to insert a table or if you wanted to insert a table, even if you have a two or three headings. So that's what you can check it out here. In my case, there you, there you saw guys, what exactly happening is I have more than eight or nine or 10 headings and I just set up something like insert the table whenever I will be having more than four. So that's what you can set up it from here, number that. Then after guys, this is something which you can in, uh, definitely have to check it out. Display header table, show header text above the table of content. So what is this? Whether you wanted to have this description or not, table of content. And obviously you should have, and that's why I make sure this is checked. Then after guys, what exactly the uh, text you wanted to display there, simple table of content, or you wanted to you know, part it there as a just a contain, or you wanted to mark it as something table or kind of that, which you can uh, uh, provide here as a text. Then after guys, toggle view, this is something like, uh, whether you wanted to have the switch or not. If the user will click to this one, it will expand, if not. So you wanted to give a control to user, if yes, then make it check. Initially, you wanted to hide a table. So this is something like, guys, let's imagine I have loaded this page and initially you saw that basically when I loaded this page and come to this particular section, initially the table of content was just a word and it was not completely expanded, right? I have to click to this one. But if initially you wanted to have it in an expanded mode, instead of like closed mode, then after you can uncheck this one, then whenever the pages will load, automatically that will be inside that particular, or, or that will be in expanded mode. Then after guys, show as an hierarchy, make it check. Then after smooth control, obviously mark it as a smooth one. Guys, this is the counter. So whether you wanted a numeric, Roman or decimal, ideally recommended is a, is a decimal. So what happened is 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3 kind of that. If you mark it as a, a number then obviously that number will be one and two then after again here will be three kind of that only numbers not the decimal so that's what you can set up it from here then after guys you wanted to change the width height and everything what should be the color of that particular theme and everything you can change it from here the way you want and once you are done with everything guys this is the section where you have to decide what exactly you wanted to include inside the table of content only h1 tag, h2 tag, h3 tag, h4 tag. Ideal recommendation is guys have it till h4 only. Don't include every subsection of your website. So set it till h4, then after come down and simply save changes. So this is the small setting you have to do. Now onward what happens is this table of content will be inserted inside the every post of your blog post. You don't have to go there manually. You got the idea? Now. What happens is guys, once you are saved there and if you will open any of the posts, you will be able to see that table of content. But let imagine for this particular post, I don't want it to have the table of content. Now what do you have to do? And that is guys, what happens is you have to go into the particular post. Let imagine I have opened this post in a new window. And when you are writing your blog post and you scroll down at the bottom your, of your blog post, you will be having that particular option, disable the automatic insertion of the table. If you have clicked to this one, or you wanted to exclude particular heading from that, you know, this basic setting, which we just done right now, that is the default setting for your complete blog. But if you wanted to disable or enable for a particular section, that's what you can do it from here. And whatever changes you are doing here, that will be our, that will override the default setting of the plugin. So if I don't want it to display table of contents, simply disable it from here. Then the second section is, if you don't want it to include S3 and H4, simply disable or enable it from this way, the table of contain will be excluded from that post or table of content will start excluding those particular headings from your website. So I hope guys, this video has become helpful for you and now onward you can use this plugin to, to create a jump link or a table of content for your website. Once again guys, if you really love this content then make sure you like the video, subscribe the channel and provide your valuable comments so I will keep making related videos in the future as well. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching the one.